أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بركات I want to make a small talk about uh, regarding the importance of the shahadatain the shahadatain for every Muslim the importance of the shahada or shahadatain first thing we need to know when they, when they say shahadatain this is to testify the testimony that uh, there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger peace and blessing of Allah be upon him uh, it's very important for every Muslim to know that the shahada is the most important declaration you can make in your life we need to know when you say la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah or ashhadu an la ilaha illallah ashhadu anna muhammad rasulullah that simply means that you are submitting everything about you the cells in your body your actions your utterance whatever whatever action or say that you do or say is strictly to please your maker Allah it is the central nervous system in Islam it's like the oxygen we breathe it's like the oxygen we breathe in every second we need it it's like a magnet that magnetizes every action we do and every sound we utter it magnetizes all our worship what we call ibadah. Otherwise, otherwise, every ibadah we do is just out there floating in space. Every action that is done for the sake of anybody or anything beside Allah is not accepted, therefore not recorded as a good deed. On the day of judgment, you are a loser. No reward for you. If you do anything to please yourself, to please people, to please anything and everything, you are doing it not for the sake of Allah. There's no declaration in there. Every cell in your body, it's very important for us to know that every cell in your body knows and declares the shahada. By performing its duty, by doing what they do, they are perform they, I mean they they, they they are submitting to the will of their creator every cell in every animal every fish and every bird or every plant or tree declares the shahada and therefore obeys its creator Allah therefore worshiping its creature its creator the Sun the moon the sky the rain all these are creatures obeying their creator by performing their duties for which they are created example the Sun coming out from east in the morning and goes in in the west at night is performing is obeying is doing its function is performing its, its, its duty for which it is created when it goes in at night it will prostrate to Allah and say thank you Allah I've done my job today what do you want me to do tomorrow Allah will say go back and do the same thing it's worshiping the rain coming down is worshipping. Whatever these creatures do in their worshipping, the mountains for instance, Allah told us the mountain is worshipping, the trees are worshipping, the vegetations are worshipping, the rain coming down is worshipping. Your physical body, your aging, that's a form of submission and worshipping, declaring the shahada, worshipping your creator. And therefore, when you do this for the sake of Allah, you are worshipping and you're going to get your reward. The whole universe, what we need to know is that the whole universe needs Allah to exist. Everything is in the universe needs its creator, Allah, to survive. And he does not need anybody, he does not need anything. He does not need the universe itself. 
He is self-sufficient. He is the one that's providing for us. So as Muslims, brothers and sisters, we need to know that the Shahada is like the magnet for every action we do. It is the one that magnetizes the action and put it in a, in a book. Otherwise, the actions are just out there floating all over the place. You could be worshipping, you could be praying, you could be fasting, you could be paying zakat, you could be helping people. But if there is no shahada declaration and belief in it, that you're doing it for the sake of God or for the sake of Allah, your creator, none of these actions will be recorded in the book. The shahada is the one that magnetizes this action and put them in the book as a good deed for you. Otherwise, they're just floating out there. You're doing it to please yourself. Some people say, I'm doing it because it feels good. You know, you do, you're not doing it for the sake of Allah. I'm doing it to please my wife, my husband, my children, my boss, and on and on, and, or even myself. You're not doing it for the sake of Allah. So therefore, brothers and sisters, i just like to take this small, this opportunity to explain to you to myself and to you that the Shahada is the most important declaration, the most important thing any human creature or any human being can take, can testify to, and believe in it and apply in it. Inshallah, I hope this will help us to understand our deen better. If I make any mistake, I ask Allah to forgive me. It comes from me and Satan. If I say the right thing, it comes from Allah. Please accept this small effort of mine and forgive me, my parents, and all the believers, so that on the Day of Judgment, when we meet you, it will be a peaceful meeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.